the nurse with the purple hair. An unlikely pairing of a horror filmmaker with a compassionate, insightful, and funny hospice worker create extraordinary results. I made this movie so I could introduce you to my friend, Michelle Lasota. She's a hospice nurse. I was doing a fan convention in Toronto. A wonderful experience with thousands of people. And I was there taking pictures, signing autographs. And they gave me an assistant whose job was to tell me where to go and what to do. One of the breaks, I, I, I talked to her and I said, what's your day job? And she said, hospice nurse. You know, she's giving me the look. Like, you got a problem with that? <laughs> I said, no, 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 I don't. I talk fast. I tend to get overly excited because I love hospice. She wasn't grim or morbid. In fact, she has a sense of fun about her, which I never would have imagined. And things that she's told me have changed my life. We are not simple beings. You know, we're very complex. We're made complex. So dying is a mind, body, spirit experience. And all of those things have to line up together before someone can go. After I got to spend time with Michelle, I discovered she had such insights and the things she was talking about were about 180 degrees from where I would have been ordinarily. The thing about Michelle is that I was focusing on movie deaths and she was focusing on real death, what it means. And she said it didn't have to be scary. I asked myself, how is it possible that I know so little about these remarkable people and what they do? I loved learning about it. It's really humbling and it's a privilege, so that's the reason we get up and do it every day. You never know when you meet somebody why they might be really ornery. And it's, it's part of that puzzle, it's part of that piece that you get to figure out in meeting people where they stand and helping figure out what's the rest of the journey. But that's the part that you get to hold their hand through. And it's really awesome. 